Let's talk about naive Bayes, a simple but often successful probabilistic model used for classification. Our example today will be about identifying if comments online are hate speech or not, which is a complex task. Naive Bayes is just a start to such an important problem. The aim is to be able to sample a comment from, let's say, YouTube, and be able to determine the likelihood that it is hate speech based on our trained Naive Bayes model. These classification models rely on Bayes' rule to find the probability of hate speech given the words that are present, using the presence of words in known hate speech, and the overall prevalence of words and hate speech in the word bank. This model is called Naive Bayes because all the predictors, or words, are seen as independent, even though that's not really how language works. For example, not terrible and not great will be treated like the not was separate from the other words, even though they have a big effect on the overall meaning. Still, this approach tends to be useful in many contexts. So to approach a problem like detecting hate speech, first we need a lot of data. We start with training data, or a bunch of real comments that people have labeled as hate speech or not. Who those people are and what their backgrounds are matters, but we will get into that later. Now we have two categories, not hate speech and hate speech. We can vectorize, a fancy word for put in a list, all the words in the comments, and count up how often that word tends to occur in the category of either hate speech or not. Now what we have is a bunch of probabilities of specific words occurring in both the categories. You can make a distribution of these to be used in the algorithm later, shown in these histograms. Perhaps swear words show up more in hate speech and words like great or nice show up more in non-hate speech. Remember with Bayes' rule, we start with a prior or how likely hate speech is in the first place. If you have a specific platform or commenter or topic you're looking at, you might be able to get a good prior. For instance, recipes might get less hate speech than political posts, or a specific commenter has been flagged over and over as violating community guidelines. So now we get a new comment to categorize, and we use the word bank to compare the new comment to the training data. The word disgusting, slurs, and allowed might show up more in the hate speech group. So when predicting if this comment is hate speech or not, the probability will be in favor of yes, it is. Looking back at the histograms we made, we multiply the likelihoods in the hate speech category of each of the words in the new comment, which we will later compare to the likelihoods from the not hate speech category. We have to be careful with words that have zero probability just because they aren't in the bank of training data words. You can add a small probability for each word that shows up in the training data for both categories. You might also realize that as you go along, new hate speech words should be added to the word bank for better classification in the future. We compare the likelihood that the comment is hate speech to the likelihood that it is not to make our classification. If the probability that it's hate versus the probability that it's not hate is equal or close, the content needs human evaluation. Or you might consider a threshold at which content should be evaluated as possible hate speech by a human to err on the side of catching hate speech. With this basic overview of a naive Bayes approach, we also have to consider the social context we are looking at. You have to ask yourself if you think social media should be automatically flagging hate speech at all and what the consequences should be for posting hate speech. How involved should users be in reporting comments or defending their own? Who gets the final say? You might even consider when political groups use reporting features to silence other political groups, even when there is not actually a violation. Correct classification of hate speech is a difficult task, and one researchers are actively working on. Many marginalized communities reclaim slurs for their own empowerment, and many things are hate speech that you might not even realize. If we don't do anything, we risk bullying and misinformation and cruelty online. If we do too much, we are censoring speech with algorithms and controlling what is allowed to be said on the internet. What we need is balance. So, what do you think?